737NG Pito and static anti-icing There's two configurations on the NG The max is the same with this regards to this There's two positions either auto or on Some old ones are off and on Auto just means um, it will heat up when you get an engine start. Is this, well, A or B, it's not really systems. This position A and position B. A does the left hand side of the aircraft, B does the right hand side. Uh, notice the static ports are not heated. So when we put it on, the lights will go out. The defect we had was intermittently uh, this flashed. So, customer request was to replace the probe regardless um, and troubleshoot the system a bit with some resistance checks beforehand. Back to auto, so the probes are not heated anymore. So, in total, you've got two angle of attack sensors, also known as alpha probes. Total air temperature. Probe and times five pito probes. So we've got two on the fin for the elevator. We've got an auxiliary pito probe. We've got a left and right captain first officer's pito probe. So the heaters use 115 volt AC. Um, the current detection circuit behind here uses 28 volts DC. Each Pito probe has a heater and it's integral to the probe. When it fails, you'll get the light come on. So that's the current sensor that causes that. When the probe heater uses current, current detection circuit causes this light to go off. Fault finding. So first thing you would go for is the probe. Then I would be tempted to change this module because it's probably the current sensor. or some wire loose connection or something like that fairly simple system uh, there's no boxes involved it's just a card behind here to a uh, heating elegance that's the general overview so following on from the intermittent fault for the auxiliary pitot, uh, what we're going to do is do a quick resistance check of the probe. So it's held on by six screws and a small connector screw as a safety. Uh, we're going to look for 40 to 56 ohms on the multimeter at a temperature of 10 to 30 degrees so we've got about 16 on average. So 
So as you can see, we're going to, once we get a good reading, I think it's 40, yeah, we've got 48 ohms. So that's, that's good. Next, do a quick voltage check. We're looking at 115 volts AC. There it is, 114.2. So we know the airframe side is good also. And quick operational test, everything's working as it should. Uh, the company wanted to replace the probe anyway, although the system's working as it should be. Um, it's just, we call it a proactive maintenance action. And there we're looking at the new probe fitted.